Hey YouTube, this is Praxis Prepper, and I found um, kind of a little windfall earlier today on the side of the road. Uh, there was a turkey, and it had been freshly hit, it's been very cold, so I grabbed it, and I'm going to cut it up, and we're going to get roadkill turkey. Maybe make a soup out of it or something. I've got it buried over here in the snow. Come on, follow me. So I buried it under all this snow to keep it chilly. There's some of it here. I'd heard that uh, you can, oh, uh, you still see? I heard that there had been people that have in the past eaten uh, woolly mammoth that was buried in the snow. So I figure the turkey couldn't be all that much different. So here's the bird right there. So we're going to bring this inside. Oh, am I in the picture? Yeah. All right. So we're going to bring this inside and get it processed and ready to turn into a soup. Poor animal. So I brought the bird in here. I put it on a prepared area with some plastic. I've got rubber gloves on. I've got eye protection in case I splatter anything. And I'm, I've got this seal pup knife that I chose because it is um, it's very easy to clean. It doesn't have any moving parts or anything like that. And it's very sharp. Um, you, there might be things that I'm doing that seem like they're overkill. Uh, there may be things that I'm doing that seem like they're underkill. That's mostly explained by the fact that I really don't know what I'm doing. Uh, I've read some books before on it. I butchered one bird before, which was a pheasant, uh, and that came from a movie shoot I was on. It was for a, a rifle company, and they were shooting the birds for the television commercial, with I, which I thought was kind of disrespectful to life, that they're killing them for the commercial. But people took the birds back later, and they were going to eat them. You can imagine, I was the camera person, you can imagine the pressure on me. They released one bird, and I'm like, oh, I didn't get the shot. And <laughs> glance over at the, the other pheasant, it's like, we're going to need another one of you. So, um, gosh, I, th I think it was four, four takes, maybe. Um, but, man, the pressure. It's like all the pheasants looking at me, get the shot, dude, get the shot. Okay, okay, so you want me to start cutting? Okay, you guys want me to start cutting too. So uh, the the basic procedure here is that you want to get all of the, uh, the guts out of it and you want to get the skin off of it. Like, oh, I need you to not walk around and stand in front of the camera. You can be over here or you can be off to the side over there, okay? But for safety, I can't have you walking around too much. So it's a little cold, both from, uh, well, it's, it's cold from the, from the fact that it's cold and it's stiff because it's starting to get a little bit, a little bit old, maybe... I'm, I'm estimating this is probably like 15 hours old, but it's been freezing cold outside, so um, I'm not that worried about it. So again, what we want to do cut is, it. yeah, we're going to cut it, we're going to cut it. Don't be too, too eager. Um, we're going to get it, go in here, get all the guts out. I've got a bucket for them there, and then we get the feathers off. So I'm going to start with the guts. You can see the face right here. See the head there? Yeah, it's got snow on it. Poor little bird. All right, so... We'll start like this, and I believe you start somewhere around here, and, and the idea is you don't want to be rupturing the, uh, uh, you know, the inner guts and stuff, because you're going to make a mess. Holding the blade like this, and again, being very careful, cutting away from myself. You have a better view from over here, River. I'm cutting into the, the stomach, and I apologize for the bad camera angle, but honestly, I don't know that much about what I'm doing. This is more uh, a uh, video for you to see, and get the impression that even if you don't entirely know what you're doing, you can still, you know, get your way through this stuff. Uh, as with all of my videos, I'm not an expert. I work with trial and error, and sometimes there are errors in my trials. So don't just mimic whatever I do, especially on stuff like this. Messing with dead animal cadavers can be dangerous, so... No, 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 no. I think Arthur reaching towards you because he doesn't want you to cut him. Well, if he was alive, that would be the case. But these, these are just his legs, and they are, he's dead now, right? Yeah. yeah. How did he die? Freeze. No, well, I think he got hit by a car because he was on the side of the road. I know the age of this bird because I go up and down that road all the time, and it was very clear when he was not there and then when he was there. And again, if this was summertime, I'd be much more apprehensive about it. We're starting to see some of the meat there. I'm pulling the skin back first, and it's 
sort of separating, but I'm, I'm using the knife to kind of ride underneath. I don't know why that's inside. Well, this is what animals look like on the inside. This is what you and I look like on the inside, too. See, these are the muscles that move the wings. And the muscles are what they talk about when they say meat. Like in your dinosaur movies, when they say that they're meat eaters, it means that they're eating the muscles on the inside. These are its chest muscles. Can you feel your chest muscles? Yeah. Yeah. So these are the muscles that it uses to flap its wings. That's why they're so big on like birds. Like this? I can do this. That's what my stomach does. Yep. Oh, I accidentally ruptured some of the guts in there, so I'm going to have to start being really careful. But that's the first thing you want to get you're, out. You're cutting out that. Yep. All right. So this is the part where you really don't want to make too many mistakes. So getting the... The guts. Okay. Can, you, can you smell that? Yeah, see the tubes in there? Yeah. Yeah. Let's see. That's inside. I, I never know that's what an inside body looks yeah. like. Do you want to use this camera? You want yeah. to hold the camera and you can make your own movie? Yeah. No, no, no. So you can just point that in there and you can make your own movie. Uh. Also, those are beautiful feathers. It is beautiful feathers, isn't it? Mm, that it is. Yep. Oh. Well, as you can see, what I'm doing is I'm cutting away from all the guts because I don't want to rupture them. I want to get them out of the body without cutting them up. And you see some intestines in here? The intestines also, is where the, the poo goes through. Also, you can see it most at, uh, inside, but at, and not most. You can... See uh, 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 most of the uh, parts of the outside, but not as much as inside. Yeah, yeah. All right, so you can see more of the tubes here. See these tubes down here? Yeah. Yeah. These tubes are what uh, where the food goes through. Now, careful! Don't get too close. You're getting close to the the foot there. Okay. We don't want it. We don't want you touching this. You're you're clean. We want you to stay clean. I don't see a poo. Why okay. are poos there? Well, because there was poo coming through it. Because they ate things. Do you want to aim this here? Because I'm going to pull the guts out. Can you aim it right there? And get a picture of the, all the guts coming out? So I'm going to reach up in here, and I'm going to get what I can without having to cut anything. All right. And once I get all this stuff out, it gets a lot easier to, to work. Oop, I ruptured something. And this is why we got the, the uh, glasses and everything on, because this is when things might squirt. I will put Okay, you got to put your glasses on. Do you want to put your glasses on? Okay, there you go. Okay, so I've got this stuff pulled out of here, and that looks like that could be a, a heart or something. I don't know. I'm no anatomy expert. But this is stuff you don't want to be eating. I see a liver in there. Oh, well, liver is. Okay. Well, liver. And I'm... I'll show you in a moment. I'm going up here. I'm, I'm disconnecting this stuff from where it's connected up top. Okay, and it's all starting to come out now. This is the stuff you don't want to eat. Oh, are you getting a video of this? There you go. So this is the stuff you do not want to be eating. And this is the liver right up here. Some people eat the liver. I don't know. That's like a filter for the whole animal. I'm not into eating that. I believe that's the heart. Right? Is that the heart? I don't, I don't know what any of this stuff is. Wow. There you go. All right. So we got to get all these tubes out of here. So I'm gonna I'm gonna sever some of these things. Ooh. I, I didn't know that what our bodies look like. Ugh. Okay, so that goes in the bucket over there, and that's gonna get composted. And these are the tubes where the poop goes through, because it goes in the mouth and then comes down here to the bum. And these are the tubes that extract all the nutrients for the bird. So. I, d I didn't know that what our bodies look like. Yeah, well, they're, they're all pretty much the same. Whether we're a bird or a mammal, a lot of the stuff is the same on the inside and the outside. Ugh. I didn't know that all. Was, yeah, so here's more, more tubes. We're going to get rid of these tubes. All right. I'm starting to peel, peel the skin away. All right, so we've got most of the guts out. I'm an ethical vegetarian when it comes to uh, eating birds, but it doesn't really bother me, you know, if they, I already find them. Yeah, that doesn't bother me. I didn't know it was that big. Yeah. Well, this is the muscles that we eat, or that people eat, or animals eat, or whatever. 
Okay. A bird does no work for appealing it. No. Well, the bird's dead. It was. This would be horrible if it was alive, right? Yeah. Yeah. Okay. So, I am just going to remove this, these breast muscles and cut right through the bone. Cut right through the bone? Yeah. Because I just want to get the good usable meat out of here. I just want to see what's under it. Okay. Well, you'll get a chance in just a second. Oh, there's the heart. See, here's the heart right here. Boom, 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 boom. Not beating anymore, right? Why? Because it's dead. That's why we have the safety glasses on. Oh, you need you need to have your safety glasses on. Uh, I uh, I I didn't know it was going to do that. Yeah. Well, that's why you have them, just in case. You never know. Uh, no, it's not going. I get wet now. Well, it, it still could, okay? So we got to be careful. All I'll right. put my safety in So this might not be the best butchering job ever done in the world. In fact, I'm totally certain that it's not. But, again, my point is just because you're not perfect at something doesn't mean you shouldn't try it at all. I mean, you need to get yourself educated about it, and don't consider my YouTube video to be your education on this. Do more research. Get yourself actually educated on it. I didn't know it. that was, was inside of it. I was yeah. imagining what okay. it looked like. There's the heart right there. And I'm, I'm throwing away a lot of useful food here. I, I understand that. But I'm just going with my education level and everything. This was something that was going to completely go to waste. And I'm going to capture some of it and save some of it. All right. So I'm almost... Food and Yep, for food and things. Okay. I'm just trying to get the other side of this breast off right now. All right. Anyway, I don't know what, it, what is it inside. This, I, I know it's hard for Daddy to get that through there. Yeah, it is. There's just one little, I'm just going to crack it. There we go. It doesn't want to cut. It wants to pop over. All right, here we go. Let's pop the other side. What I'm trying to do just here is just get the, the breast meat separated off. And again, I know that I am not an expert on this, but my channel is about trying things, even when you're not an expert. And through trial and error, you get better at them over time. Yeah. Oh, that's... Uh, that's the throat. That's the esophagus. A throat? I didn't know what. I think it is. Or, or, yeah, because it goes from the head down into the body. That's probably the throat right there. So let's cut that. Wow, it's, that's tough. Given what it is, I'm surprised it's that difficult to cut. So there we go. There's a bunch of meat right there. I'm gonna there place... are no fellers. Yeah, we're going to wash this off inside. So I'm going to place that there. There's a lot of meat there. There's a lot of food value there. If we were trying to live off the land and we were really hungry, that would be, it would be wonderful to have that. So, but there, there is more on here. There's still the legs. And there's the wings, I guess. People talk about the wings. It doesn't feel like there's a heck of a lot of meat in there. Though. I, don't know if I, I don't know if I'm going to bother with that. Look at that beautiful wing river. Yeah. They use it to fly. Turkeys are really beautiful birds. You know, Benjamin Franklin suggested that the turkey should be the national animal. Or, or the national bird. That's an interesting idea. Uh, but that's all blood. Yep, there's a lot of blood on the inside. Okay, so here's, here's the leg. Because turkey legs are something that people eat. Or so let's I've see, heard. Let's eat it. Well, should we cook it first? Yes. Yeah. I thought that you said you didn't want to eat the turkey. Did you change your mind? Yeah. Because it's okay if you don't want to. You, you can be a vegetarian if you want to. I want to eat it because it looks like an interesting thing to eat. Okay. Well, it's up to you. Totally up to you, whatever you think is the right thing to do. As long as you get the right nutrition, you can be a vegetarian or you can eat, eat some of the meat with Daddy. Whatever you want. All right, so you see how the skin is separating from the muscle? Do you see the, all the muscle there? Yeah. yeah. Right. 
get away though. Okay, you can do that too. I almost got this leg off. All right, there's a leg. I'm coming. I probably don't need the foot. So I'll pop Break the it. foot off. There we go. Animals break apart pretty easily, don't they? Yeah. It's funny to think about that. When we're petting them at the zoo, they don't seem like they, uh, well, doesn't seem like you could break them that easily, but they are pretty fragile, aren't they? Yeah. Now the skin here is holding on. Oh, actually, I can, that's what the knife's for, isn't it? Yeah. There we go. So there's a turkey's foot. That's interesting. Doesn't it look like a dinosaur foot? Yeah. Yeah. So put that in there because we're not going to eat that. And again, like I said, I am a, I'm fully aware that there's a lot of things that are edible, that are food, that I am uh, putting in the compost bucket. But that's just because I don't really know what I'm doing all the way. And this was all going to go to waste. So anything that I eat is that much less going to waste. So I'm going to go for the other leg, and I think that's going to be it. I think you don't have this stuff. I want to cut out it and, and make a whole museum of uh, turkey's bones. Well, uh, I, I don't know how safe it will be to... You, you're talking about these legs, right? Because they're interesting? No, no. Now take a bone to make a museum of uh, uh, bones and make it so, so people can see a whole skeleton of this turkey. Yeah, well, you know, Daddy is being pretty messy with how I'm pulling this animal apart. I'm getting the, I'm getting the food parts off of it. But, I saw bones. Uh, but I'm, uh, I, I'm breaking a lot of bones to get what I need. There we go. That's a bone. There's the other foot there. Put that in there. You're so, breaking a lot of bones. Yes, yeah. I'm not, I'm not going in. Uh, to save all the bones and everything. Okay, yeah. One of the reasons that I'm doing this right now, this time of day, is because Amber is away at her classes right now, and Amber is a complete, full vegetarian, uh, and she would find this tremendously horrifying. So I am doing this now while she's away. All right, so I'm getting around the, the hip bone here, and I'm just about to get this leg off, and I think that that, is the end of it. I think that's as much as I'm going to pull off. I've got two giant breasts. I've no, got two I want eggs. to see inside. Okay, safety glasses on if you're going to come over here. Let's see. It's been a long time since I've eaten a bird. That is gorgeous. The colors in here. I mean, it's horrifying, but it's gorgeous at the same time. Okay, let's see what happens here. So I got the, the wing off. There's some meat on there. I mean, maybe it's worth going after. Just, it's going to be, all the skin is on there. I think I'm not going to bother with it. Again, if I was starving, there's meat there. And, you know, you could just boil this whole thing and, you know, deal with all the feathers later. But uh, I'm, I'm not going to mess with that because I'm not starving. Um, and I think that's pretty much all that's here. We've got the big breast muscles. We've got the big legs. Um, there's little bits here and there. I, I know there's, there's meat on the neck, but I'm not going to mess with that either. I think we, I'm going to watch you put our job. Okay, well I'm going to put it in the bucket and then we're going to be off. Yeah. Okay, well here, here's the turkey. You want to say goodbye to the turkey? Sorry you got hit by a car? Goodbye turkey. I'm sorry that you get, get hit by a car. Yeah, it's sad for the turkey, but we'll get to have some food from it, right? Yeah. Yeah, okay. Put that in there. There we go. And that's, that's what it's like to eat meat. That's where it comes from. Okay. All right. Well, let's get this stuff cleaned up. Uh, I'm vegetarian, but I'm, uh, I can only eat some meat. So River says he'd like to bury the bird under the snow, and other animals will come, and, and they'll get to eat from it. But does that feel better to bury the bird? Yeah. yeah. Okay. Do you want to say goodbye? Goodbye. Okay. I, I'm sure later in the day uh, this bird will be will be all uh, eaten. Yeah. Okay. Please subscribe and tune in every Friday at 4:30 New York time for a new video.